नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल ओके टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी सिंपल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट टू टॉक टू यू द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज एडिटोरियल इज हाउ डज वन इलेक्ट अ गुड गवर्नमेंट दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ द डे I will discuss that and let's uh, let's deep dive into it. Let's get into the show. But before I get into the show, I have got another another a very interesting topic and a and a good topic to talk about. And I will start my editorial with that. Let's get right into the show. Justice Dinesh Kumar Singh, uh, High Court Judge of Allahabad, he contributed fifteen thousand rupees to pay the fees. of a young student sanskriti rajan to iit her father had some financial problems he was unwell she had he had some financial problems so she couldn't pay the fees though she had passed she has got through iit but she couldn't pay the fees the judge he said listen i will pay it and he paid it from his own pocket i think such justices such judges such people of our country these are examples that i think makes our country what it is so i thought i should mention this judge i should talk about this story to start my editorial now let's get into our topic number 2 so how does one elect a good government now let us understand a few things and let us understand and dissect a few concepts that we take for granted the concept number 1 is a popular leader need not be a good administrator a popular leader may be very popular he may he may get a lot of votes he may get a lot of people to come and and see him talk he may be a fabulous orator he may be a great showman he may be a great uh, influence on people all of that yes but therefore it doesn't mean that he or she is a good administrator the fact is it is time it is time for our country to see administrators and politicians and popular politicians as two different individuals they could be one they could be one a popular leader could also be a good administrator i don't deny that but it is not necessary so when we vote we need to understand that the person we are voting he may be popular but if he or she is the next chief ministerial or prime ministerial candidate how good he or she will be as a chief minister or a prime minister that is very important so that's my point number 1 that a popular leader may not be the best uh, administrator this gets to my second topic to the second point my second point is actually related to the first point but the fact is a manifesto to my mind a manifesto of a political party to my mind is nothing but promises nothing but promises there is no guarantee that that manifesto will be implemented chances are most of the time the manifesto is not implemented in its totality so a manifesto is just like a promise it's a it's a it's a it's an advertising promise in fact a lot of advertising promise normally when we advertise and we promise we we deliver that at least good brands do but you know here it is not necessary that it needs to be delivered those are promises so what is important if not the manifesto what is important is the team the team is important it is not what you are promising that is important but the people who are going to deliver to you deliver the promises that is important think about it India match jitega is that good enough or India match jitega because Virat Kohli hai because Sami hai because so much this is the team this team will ensure that India wins match which is more important so likewise even for our government even for our whether it is a state government whether it is our central government whether it is whichever government let us ask for the team that is going to be there in the government sitting there to govern us that is the team that makes a difference to us if you have a good team you have a fabulous op- chance to ensure that the team works hard works well and works efficiently for us but if you don't have a good team well 
it's whatever manifesto. Manifesto can be worded the most beautiful way, beautiful way. But to ensure that, to, to the, the fact that it may, could be implemented, well, that's a big question mark. So, theme is important, not manifesto. Like I said, first, it is not necessary that a popular leader could be a good administrator. That is number two. Now, let us come to number three. My number third is the most important thing to my mind. When we elect a political party to power, we are electing an ideology. We are electing a culture. Because a political party can change the culture of that particular state or the country or the municipality, whichever political party, whichever uh, representation. The political party can change the culture. Some political party can, can, can be right thinking. Some political party could be left thinking. Some political party. The political, the politics of the day, the leader of the day changes the concept. So when you are electing, a political party, mind you, you should be mindful of the fact that that election, that vote of yours will change the culture of your country and of your constituency and of your state or whatever you are electing. So that's a very, very important factor. So one needs to consider before one elects, is this what you want? Is this culture what you want to grow in or what you want your children to grow in? That's the point three before you elect a political party. The fourth. And I think again a very important factor is that a political party who speaks anything other than development, anything other than food on your table, anything other than jobs for your children and yourself, anything other than infrastructure, anything other than health, anything other than education, that political party will not deliver anything to you but will only create imageries, will only create uh, an, an environment which may make you feel good. There are two aspects to politics. One is feel good and one is do good. Growth, economy, health, education are do good factors. Caste, creed, community, pride because you are of certain community, all these are feel good factors. A political party that cannot do good will always try to drag the entire election into a feel-good factors. That political party will never be able to deliver goods to you. They will make you feel good, but it will not deliver goods to you. On the other hand, there will be hardly any political parties, hardly any political parties. Let us not get carried away by saying that only one particular political party may do this. Others, There is hardly any political party in India today which talks about doing good. It talks about the fact that I will get food to your table or I will ensure that your health is taken care of. That's point number four. My last point <clears throat> when it comes to voting is, you know, the biggest duty, your biggest duty as a citizen of this country is to go out and vote. We all know that. One more thing I want to add. One more thing I want to add. The biggest duty of yours is not just sit and say, yeah, you know, politics is very bad. You know, politics, yeah, I don't like politics. I don't like politicians. I don't like politics like some time ago. Mr. Rahul Gandhi had said, politics is in your shirt and in your pant and in your trousers and all of that. Politics makes this country, your job is secure if the political party, if the politics, if the government is good. Your food is secure if the government is good. Your education is secure if the government is good. Your health is secure if the government is good. And if the health, education, job, everything has to be secure, you have to have a good government. And for a good government, you have to have good politics. So politics is the most important thing that a person needs to understand and need to participate if possible. Participate in politics. Going into politics, going into electoral politics, fighting elections, Working for political parties, campaigning for good political parties, campaigning for a good ca uh, a candidate is not a bad idea. It's a good idea because you are helping, acting for your democracy. Don't shy away from it, Baba. I am not into politics. I don't entertain politics. 
it is nothing to be proud of if you are not into politics it is nothing to be proud of if you don't participate in politics in on the contrary you are not acting for your democracy if you don't act for politics participate in politics engage yourself in politics learn politics understand politics understand parliament understand what a bill is understand what an act is understand how much debate happens in a in 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 the parliament understand what kind of debate happens in the parliament because if you do that if you do that that's when that's when you get a vibrant democracy so as much as you blame other political parties and politicians and all that blame yourself also for the fact that you have done nothing to participate in 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 politics or in to improve the state of politics or improve the state of democracy you know i will end <clears throat> i will end my editorial with a a small Uh, poem that um, Vinod ji used to say, uh, you know, uh, Vinod ji has, has said this couple of times in the channel, and this poem is this is the this is the one. Hear it. हमारे यहाँ एक कवि हुए हैं इब्ने इंशा. उनका कहना है हक अच्छा पर हक के लिए कोई और लड़े तो और अच्छा सच अच्छा पर सच के लिए कोई और मरे तो और अच्छा लोग हमसे कहते हैं कि आप हमारे हकों की लड़ाई लड़ रहे हैं. आप हमारी आवाज उठा रहे हैं उठाते रहिए हम तो उठाते रहेंगे आप क्या करेंगे आप अपनी जिंदगी यूं ही जीते रहेंगे अब आप प्रजा नहीं हैं आप गुलाम नहीं हैं आप नागरिक हैं और क्योंकि आपके पास वोट है आपको भी काबिल नागरिक बनना है आप कोई हाकिम चुनने नहीं जा रहे आप मालिक चुनने नहीं जा रहे राजा चुनने नहीं जा रहे आप अपना सर्विस प्रोवाइडर चुनने जा रहे हैं सेवक चुनने जा रहे हैं so uh, that's that that's what i wanted to talk to you about um, like i say subscribe to our channel it's important for us please do subscribe to our channel www.hwnews choose your package but do subscribe to us that's one second thing i wanted to also add on starting 10th 11th of this month please start logging in to our our web page our website i agree till now our website was not up to the mark that we wanted it to be but from 11th of this month we will have a brand new website we will have a lot of news a lot of articles a lot of information please start logging into our website starting 11th of this month the way you support us with our videos please show us the same support on our website till i see you next time namaskar